Hello, and welcome back to Ring of Pain. Last time we beat the game, we kicked Owl's butt. We unlocked a new flame called the Darkstone. Gives us minus two starting speed, but it gives us 40% stealth and uh, apparently a shield of, I believe that's the barrier as the starting item. So we are going to be playing on medium now. And uh, at, from this point on, we'll be playing everything on medium until we unlock. I do know that there is a hard mode. And until we lock hard mode, we'll be playing on medium. And I might be bouncing around between the flames, but we do want to get a dark stone victory because I'd like to get victories on everything. And let's go ahead and get started. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Go ahead and get speed early. I did try to take a peek in the best Jerry, uh, what playing on medium actually means for us. And it seems like everything has just like a little bit more HP and a little bit more damage. It doesn't seem like it's a huge upgrade per se, but we are going to have to be a little bit more careful and cautious. 40 point self chance. Got to remember that. We're going to have to be a little bit more careful and cautious for sure, because ooh, we need to stealth past that guy. And then he'll explode. Awesome. Because we haven't exactly been, like, dominating previous runs, so we definitely want to be playing safely. We got a bomb guy in the background there. Freeze front cards. We might use that in a minute here. You're new. What are you? A gloom eel. You're really fast. You're really, really fast. I want to kill you. Okay. Nothing special happened. That's freeze if you have four or fewer items equipped. One, two, three. This would be five, unfortunately. I'm not super interested in a freeze run. I could do this, though. I like the idea of doing crit, especially with the fact that we have such a high stealth chance with this. Oh, I believe I'm dead. There's no, there was no way for me know, to know that there was a bomb here. Um, it would have been safer to go the other direction, though. How much does this do? 10. This also does 10. No, that does 4. So there's a chance I survived going this way. Nope. Okay. Let's just go right back in then, I guess. Uh, we are playing on a higher difficulty, so we might die a couple times. We're going to go ahead and head over to the items over here. I had a really high chance of, of stealthing there, so that's what I thought was going to happen, is that I was just going to stealth. But that's not what happened. So if we block here, kill this guy, it'll kill both of them. And then we can heal and kill the rat. Ambush is a terrible idea this early in the dungeon. I would love to do ambush. And I love that they're showing up on the first floor now. But I think it's a terrible idea. Poison's great, though. One of the things that we do want to do is we want to attack the owl. Um, or attack owl. Early wishful is very nice. Uh, during one of the shop phases because there's an achievement for that. And I'm not exactly like achievement hunting at this point. But we do want to make sure and get some achievements. Uh, we're going to go ahead and block here. Kind of needed to. We need to uh, pair our speed here. The minus two speed is actually a little rough. Okay, get some more items. We're gonna take the the knife mostly just because it also poisons. It has speed and also poisons, I should say. Potion seal plus one for every two other diviner items. Uh, and I don't really want the negative speed. We just uh, recovered our speed. We'll go ahead and take the gloves. Those, those um, eels seem like their thing is, oh, I could have killed the bomb by poisoning it and walking away. But yeah, the eels seem like their thing is sort of like the fact that like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like 
they're just fast. They're fast and, and squishy. First strike each floor is a crit, but plus three speed. Mm, yeah, well, I don't really care too much about that crit. It'll help a lot in the first few floors here, and I probably should have kept it, but I kind of wanted the stats. And okay, we're going to poison that guy, attack that guy, and then open an item up. Forty-eight percent chance. We don't know what this is over here. If that's a bomb, we die again. So I think we're gonna blow it because that being a bomb would have killed me. Hey, look at that! I would have died. Go ahead and kill this eel. We don't have enough to do the thing, but we can take an ambush because we have nine speed. Oh yeah, that was another thing. Is that a lot of things have like one or two more speed? So my new uh, early game goal will be probably like 12 to 13 speed instead of 10 because 10 got me past a lot of creatures but ooh, well there you go but 10 won't necessarily be ideal anymore we also want to try and check some stuff uh, and see what things new stats are in medium I also assume that there's new things that we can encounter but I don't know what they are so don't tell me we are going to take defense. Step plus to that guy. And then come over here and get this item. Camouflage? You shouldn't have. One of my favorite items. Not because of it, like what it does, or not because of like... I, it is because of what it does, but... It's because like... I just really like the fact that it means it's in the range enemies don't attack me. Like, I, I freaking hate the range enemies. The ranged enemies are so hard to deal with. I don't have enough souls. Why was I clicking on it? Do you have anything new to say after I killed you? Let me out. Nothing changes. Scream or shout. I can never let you out. That makes sense. You're like my id or ego or whatever it is. I'm not going to claim to be an expert on 50%. Come on. 50%. Failed to 50%. Feels bad, man. There we go. Forty-six percent. Forty-six percent. There we go. Jeez, um. I'll go ahead and we used our books just to preempt the parry there. Ooh, purple item. Very nice. Gain souls for explode damage taken. We did have this last time, but I also just really like it. So we would get plus six souls from this, right? Yeah, so 11 total. If we fought him, we would be very, very close to death. So we're going to skip it. I'm not going to like... Plus one soul damage for each empty slot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's really good, to be honest. I'm going to sneak past you. Perfect. And he blew up the other one, too. Take the plus four to attack. Kill that guy first. So we're currently getting Sith soul damage. Man, if I could get a... Oh, we need to kill this guy over here. There we go. If I could get... A, uh, a wishful right now. That would be kind of amazing. I don't know if it would affect the soul damage, though. Because that's not a major stat. And wishful is about major stats. He's dead. He's not dead. I lied. Only 46% chance, so we're going to not do it. Curse damage becomes soul gain instead. Slow burn is also pretty good. Reflect damage. Intimidate on attack. Nullify range attacks. I mean, currently they don't attack me. Alternates 10 damage to random and 20 heal to random. Does that mean that I can hit myself? If someone knows if this can hit me, actually tell me on this one. Just because the mushrooms don't do anything, I am actually going to take the Disabating Mist. Because it means I might take the mask off at some point. 
We don't have any money, so we're going to take the heal. Not even bother looking at the items. We have a 75 here. The chance that we afford that is slim to none. This is going to be wasteful if we use that. Those guys are dead. We'll go ahead and grab the upgrade here. We can take that now. Beautiful, beautiful. I wasn't sure about that one, so I was a little quiet. Okay, okay. Uh, and we don't really have much left, so we'll take Reprieve. I don't think we have enough... No, we don't have enough damage to... To worry about killing him. Not this time. Not this time, Al. Reduce damage, to, piercing damage taken by one. I think this is a new item because I haven't seen this before. I think we just recently unlocked this. It's one thing to keep in mind whenever people are suggesting me to take certain items. I might not have them unlocked. There is an amount over there. That is going to be quickly becoming a problem. So what I'm going to do is honestly step towards it because I don't want it to eat more. This drifter is going to be a problem for me. Uh, yeah, I might. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of just having a crap ton of offense. Plus one defense for each uh, empty inventory slot. No. Uh, I mean, that's a really good item. Especially getting it at eight. So I want to hit this guy right. I waited too long. I wanted to poison him with the thing there. Shrine of Sacrifice. Do I remember what Shrine of Sacrifice is? I don't know if I do. So it would cost me 3 HP and I get what? Oh, I get souls back. Oh, it also gives me a thing? It gives me Fury Ore. So this is technically one, two... I mean, it's the same thing, but the thing about Fury Ore is that I think... I would keep my attack if I like they're they're essentially the same thing, right? I could hit it again, but I think that's a bad idea. Thank goodness. A little bit of a heal. We are going to move past. That was interesting. It had like a little claw over it saying that it was going to attack me. But then I walked away and came back and it didn't anymore. I'm not 100% sure how that enemy works. Ooh. What are you? Lunging spine. Lunges for five damage. What does that mean? What's a lunge? Well, he has no death effect. Net's action. If, if remaining one position away, lunge to attack you and any creature it passes. Ah. I understand now. So there's whole new mechanics now because of... Uh, there's a potion right there. But we don't know... Well, we can't take the damage from that, so... It's pretty safe to just pass them. So if I stay here, is he going to damage me? He's going to do five damage to me. Is it always five damage? It's five damage. It ignores armor? What? Okay. Jeez, that's scary.
Seems like he's pretty weak in melee range, though. We don't have to worry too much about him. He doesn't attack me. He only lunges at me. Snare front cards. Treasure. I mean, we, we technically don't lose any damage for this. We, well, we also don't gain anything from that. We only get plus two clarity, and we're so negative on clarity that it doesn't matter. We'll lose damage for that. But we would also gain HP. Oh, that's worth it, though. Um, I'm going to take the risk here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Get a little bit of defense, and we'll leave. The lunger is... Uh, the fact that there's new enemies on higher, higher difficulties means I'm never going to switch back down to normal. That's just, that's just too cool. We're faster? Yeah. He is scary. There's a bunch of range drives, but we have camouflage still, so... Okay, can we take a whole bunch of defense so we take less damage from this? Yeah. Nice. We can't take damage from this. Okay, okay. I want the key. We'll go ahead and shield up to not take too much damage from that. Kill him. Ugh. Jeez, um, okay. Well, that guy can't hurt us, so. We have a 51% chance of taking just an absolute crap ton of damage. Let's open this item instead. See if something changes here. Dark pants. I kind of like this idea here. Oh, this is not ideal. We're going to do it this way. Okay, we don't have much to lose, so we'll go ahead and take it. Yeah, I think we're done here, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, there was only creatures left. Yep. Rushing Concoction, still overpowered. Destroying uh, an equipped item gained its primary stats. Go ahead and do that. Which damage does this guy do? Eight plus three, so he's going to do two damage to me. With a chance to dodge it. Very nice, okay. And negative clarity kind of sucks. Very, very damaging. I want to get back above 20 speed. I can't hurt me. This guy can very much hurt me. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else we want to absorb? Yeah. It's basically a wishful book. Like, that's kind of crazy. Every four attacks inflicts a critical hit or a whole bunch of... Mm, I don't really like either of those. Definitely want to keep my book. Book is kind of crazy. Yurior. Oh, wow. That was that was a good find. Okay, so we're going to attempt this. And failing it. It will immediately do four damage to me. So I actually have to leave. Okay. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. I have a gift on one condition. Quench the thirst. It's your addition. Weakness is a curse as well. Don't worry. I won't tell. Yeah, um... Nope. Sorry, mate. Reach depth 12 on medium difficulty. New achievement. There is an amalgam on our left. We got him before he was scary, though.
We're going to take this in order to pass a turn. Then step away. He's dead. Nice. Okay. Uh, more attack. Let's open the uh, <laughs> two legendaries in one floor without ever uh, spending any money on it. We won with Ascension. We ascended with Ascension. So I kind of don't want it. Mind Flay. Deal curse damage to a creature equal to your clarity. Uh, I hate to have to pass this up, but I like this book a lot. So we're going to pass it up. Okay, so this will do 8 damage to me and 8 damage to him. We're just going to heal. This is better. We're actually going to do this. Yeah. We could kill that guy, but it would cost literally almost all of our HP to do so. Because he does 24 damage, one piercing, and yeah, we only have 17 life. So we're not getting a lot of benefit for killing him, so we're just going to leave. Should be able to get a heal here. Yeah. If we had 100, man. Okay, we have a Hallower on the left, who hits really hard. We have an Amalgam on the right, who currently doesn't hit very hard at all. And we can finish him off. Another Amalgam? Zerkarella, Intimidate on attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this first. We're getting a whole bunch of attack. And then we're going to take the Berserker Relic. And we're going to leave via Reprieve. Because that amount of them got a little bit too fat, unfortunately. Heal, heal, heal. I could attack him right now and then leave. I know what you are. Then you know I must be right. Undo the curse and welcome light. Got the achievement. Ambitious intent. Hit Alfred. So watch this. Instead of attacking him. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to do that and then kill him. Take a heal here. And fits our defense a little bit, to be honest. Tempting to take instability. Mostly just because I want the achievement. There's an achievement for actually going to instability. Very nice. Wasn't sure if that's how that was going to work. Uh, We're still above 20, so we're going to take even more attack. With how our build works right now, we definitely want to keep above a certain point here. Poison on attack. Dark pants. We don't have the gemstone anymore. But we can do this. What's this potion? Okay. Means I can do this. Minus six. That's fine. It's 160 over there. We have a reprieve though. We can risk it. Damn. We'll take the reprieve. Is he gonna be mad at us? Trait angry. Yeah. Looks like he's trying to be mad at us. We can still steal the potion though. That's actually really funny.
That will kill that guy for us. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a guy over there spawning bombs. I'm kind of fine with that. Let's see what we got. This thing's a bit of a problem. If we pass it, we only have a 50% chance. We can do that, though. And come over here and heal. Man, that fire breed is making so many bombs. Okay, we should be able to take him out. Oh, we intimidated. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see. We're going to use our thing here to pass a turn, I think. Oh, it doesn't pass. Okay. We're not going to get rid of the blocker. Yet. And now we'll get rid of it. We're going to go ahead and do this because that will happen. Have five creatures explode in one turn. Beautiful. It looks like roll for initiative. Not going to do that. We're going to come back here and take this legendary. Soul Razor. When a trans... Tran whenever... Let's try again. When a creature transforms, deal with souls as soul damage to a random creature. Create a random potion on kill. Hmm. Wow. Um. That's just really good. I mean. What did we lose? We lose a little bit of defense and I mean, yeah. Do I care about the poison? Plus two damage. I don't really have anything that scales with number of items right now. And it is plus two damage. I would love this item right here, but I don't think we can take it. Light and shadow. You need me more. You need me more than you admit. Balance comes with equal splits. I agree. 16. I do not have in my mind which way we are going to go. Okay, so I have a 50% chance to stealth. 20% dodge chance. And... A 40% chance to attack on uh, Intimidate. Intimidate on attack, that is. Let's see, what do we do here? I think the highest chance to survive here is to attempt the dodge and then do it again. That worked out. It wasn't always going to work out in every version of reality, but it worked out in this version. He gave me a potion. Another potion over there, so I can go ahead and kill that guy. Same thing I just said a moment ago. Oh man, look at those potions. Do we want to get rid of anything? Not yet. Doesn't benefit us right now to get rid of anything. Destroy an equipped item, gain its primary stats and soul cost. Might as well take it. Our dead and healed to full here. Collateral damage plus 15 splash damage. Splash damage destroys items, chests, stat boosts, and potions. Holy crap. Okay. 
we could take it and then Im immediately get its primary stats and soul cost though so we can do this because we're gonna lose this anyways right so i don't really want the collateral damage part and gives us a hundred souls i think that was worth it we lost some attack doing that Okay, let's decide ahead of time. Which way are we going? I think we're going to go Owl. We will take the Dark Path. If we win Medium already, I'd be so happy. Okay, what do we have? A ton of blockers to the right, bombs to the left. I need this potion over here before we do anything. Okay. Let's see if we can get an item that gives us, um, feed. Heal, your, heal yourself from the map. Petrify applied to a target. That sounds cool, but, um, not for this run. We're going to see if we can find an item that gives us, uh, benefit for amount of equipped items. Let's two petrify to all creatures when you take damage. That would have been a potential there. Let freeze and parry, deal eight damage to a random creature after attack. Come on. We'll take this for now. Um, we're going to take some defense. Uh, well, we have three. We have a 0% chance. Oh, that's right, because we have minus 50 curse resistance. Well, let's get rid of it. There we go. If we pop it now, he'll take a bunch of damage. I'll heal. He's still stunned. I'll leap away. And heal a little bit. Blow this up. This doesn't give us any benefit. We're going to do that real quick. Because we can't be attacked by ranged creatures. Okay. The candle's over to the right. What we have to get to. Holy shit, why does he do so much damage? 28. Oh, because he's luminous. Dang. Okay. We got really close, though. We got really close. I actually really liked that build as well. Time Rift. And Screamer? And Hungry Sun. Hey, Hungry Sun's one of the items that someone was suggesting to me. Well, this has been Rain of Pain. We got really close to a victory there, guys. Um, I am like, I if we had done that slightly differently, we could have had some pretty cool synergies there. But I didn't like I had no way of predicting that I was going to get absorb. But anyways, this has been Rain of Pain. I've been Rima. I hope just guys are enjoying if you guys are of course like always leave a like comment subscribe it just keeps the series going more than anything else and also you know we're trying to get through this the whole youtube thing i hope you have a good day goodbye